Local leaders have traveled to the nation's capital this week to tackle a number of issues and advocate for Sacramento-centric issues. Fox, Fox 40's Paul Robbins is live in Washington, D.C. for a look at the annual Cap to Capital. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, ladies. You might recognize that house behind me. Uh, if you were with us two hours ago, by the way, there was some very... Uh, uh, enthusiastic uh, demonstrations going on down the street and more than two hours later they just ended moments ago in fact they ended just as the rain started to fall out here on us so the timing is perfect to join us on this uh, cold april day in washington dc there was just a meeting uh with the council on environmental quality now that's uh it resides within the executive branch it was established in 1970 and it's really the authority within the executive branch about regulation uh, when it comes to our environment and we had consuelo hernandez from the city of sacramento here yeah. for Cap to cap. Hi, Consuelo. And uh, Ed Manning, who was the, uh, you're the vice chair in charge of the policy for the right. chamber. Um, you were in the White House in this meeting. Well, for, it was first time in the White House for you? First time in the White House. Ed? First time for me, too. Kind of exciting? Very exciting. Yes. I, I know we have to talk policy, but uh, it was serious, do they pat you down? Is it a big deal getting into the White House? Uh, it's not easy to get in. <laughs> Somehow they didn't reject us, so. Okay, well, no, we weren't worried about you. <laughs> um, let's talk about that meeting. Broadly, what happens in a meeting when you're meeting with the Council on environmental quality? Uh, we were able to hear uh, the administration's priorities in terms of uh, streamlining the federal permitting process, um, really getting projects going faster, reducing costs, reducing sort of the, the pain and frustration that you go through, getting right. multiple, multiple levels of approval, um, trying to make it easier and faster for people to get their projects done. Okay, and, and really, if you were with us earlier, we're talking, that's one of the re three real critical issues that cap to cap is all about is regulation and making it if not easy, at least less difficult to get things done in Northern California. So what broadly were we talking about, Ed? Well, we talked about a couple different areas, uh, for example, the Endangered Species Act, um, but also uh, transportation agency permitting, basically all the permitting that our major infrastructure projects have to go through, and trying to make sure that uh, there's one federal agency that's on point um, and that they set up uh, timetables to really try to give some confidence to the project proponents uh, to get the project approved or disapproved by so there's more certainty in the regulatory pro uh, pro uh, process than there is now. So. Because it can take painfully long to get yeah. that done. And you said make sure there's one agency as in so we're not asking five agencies how to get this done? Yeah, yeah. They're, t they're trying to make sure that we don't have sequential permitting. Right. So uh, there's one lead agency. There's supposed to be one lead agency. But rather than have sequential uh, approvals to try to coordinate it up front so that the approval process can happen at the same time. Well, I trust you know all of Northern California is pulling for you because it's good for all of us when we can get this done. Thank you very much uh, for your time now and for your time here in Washington, D.C. Uh, to make Northern California a better place. Thank you. There we go, live from cap to cap. That's the kind of thing that is happening today and tomorrow and Wednesday, and we will continue to report uh, live from the nation's capital, ladies. Nicely done, Paul. We'll see you again tomorrow for another update on cap to cap in Washington, D.C. 948 is your time. The